Yeah, I don't like to go into all that tumbled stuff. We'll go over and go through the wind tunnel. I'm right five minutes from the wind tunnel right now. I see it right here. Yeah, and it's easier going. It looks bad from over there, but once you start getting through this stuff, it's not nearly as bad. Yeah. Some green color there on that one. You feel like a small child lost in the land of giants with these big rocks around you everywhere. The wind tunnel is just there through those rocks. So we'll just poke around here and maybe get through the wind tunnel. Starting to feel the weight in my pack on my feet right now. They say if you can save one pound off your feet, it's like five pounds on your back. I think is the rule of thumb for hiking boots, but I think uh, a pound in your pack is like five pounds on your feet. Sometimes I'll find pretty things here too. Right now I'm finding a nice blue bag that I'm taking off the shore. Here comes stuff this in my bag, hon. Please. One more piece, the earth thanks you too. Yeah, around here we see a lot of this stuff. I think the best place is way back there. But I like coming here because you never know what you'll see. It's all a mixed bag. Possibly some yellow flame material here too in this. Possibly and it looks looks to be a little nicer. Probably easier to haul out than the other one too. We'll put him up there. I'm not saying I'm taking it, but I'm saying if I want to take it, I'll have it easier. Ah, come here and see this! <laughs> Am I recording this? <laughs> of all the things to find. <laughs> a blow up the hall. <laughs> I don't know what's been in that mouth, so oh I might want to be careful. I got to seaweed <laughs> and bones in her hair. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave my girlfriend here and I'll try and pick her up on the way back out. <laughs> <laughs> you said the earth was rewarding me. Who you say? Who, is, who would you say is rewarding me there? Oh. There's a sandal. I don't know. Now you see that caught my eye. But I think I'll leave it. <laughs> Another seam of, excuse me, of something. I'm pretty sure I've picked up a lot of these rocks in other trips. Oh, come on, it'd be nice. A little bit of a quartz core to it.
side. I think you go to the other side to it anyway. No. All you're doing is disturbing the birds that are up there, really. Just to say you were there. Uh, no, the midnight hike, we usually come right here and get the, uh, the sunset there. Okay, we'll go through the wind tunnel instead. We won't spend long over on this beach, like 10 minutes tops. Because I think we'll, we'll, we'll want to be starting to head back after that. On the upside, sunblock and sunburn hasn't been an issue. Oh, there's a piece of foam I'd love to take out. Can I put this in your pack? Yeah, I'm glad this isn't a big beach. We don't need a lot of time to comb it. I found a bit of amethyst here before. One piece I gave Diane. So it's not bad. It's plastic. There's more debris here than there is on the other st stretch. Yeah. Well, and it comes from across the bay too. We'll just take a real quick walk as far as the bigger rocks there and up and down the shore a bit. And we'll say we've done it. Bubbly piece. Sawn wood. There's a seam of something. And you can see some really interesting patterns of it there. And it goes up. Yeah. Look at this stuff now. Oh yeah, that's a nice piece, citrine or something. Yeah, you should see how soft it looks like it seems very fragile. Yeah, kind of neat it is though, it almost looks like the underside of a starfish. The little oh, feelers. Beautiful. So pretty. Wow. Yeah, good. a whole seam of something there. Some ag, eh? Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. More plastic. So it's just digging at it too. Yeah, that's off. the tide, huh? Is it? Yeah. It's not all vandalism. Oops. Well, I'll take this stuff for sure. Yeah, eh? Yeah. Yeah. There's a nice piece just there or something. Uh huh. I know along there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting for sure. Yeah. Uh, it could be weather too, hun. The rocks and the, the tide. A lot of mechanical action there. Looks like somebody might have set those stones. Eh? Hey? Yeah, eh? Huh? A whole bloom of it. It's a nice orange rock. Okay, well I'm good for going back anytime.
miniature sea cave there. But yeah, she's dangerous. This used to be a tunnel, I'm told. Yeah, it's hard walking on this stuff. Just grindy is all I get up to. I do like the color of this. Oh yeah. Very pretty there. As far as the bigger piece, eh? A marble. Look at you, you found a marble. You find marbles on every beach you get to. Yeah. What's this piece here now? Uh, nothing worth keeping. Same model I was taking of earlier. No, it's a different one. Well, it'll come with me too then. Okay. I think I got my five pieces of plastic today for sure. And one of the pieces is a ten. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have fun with that for a long time. Yeah, she likes long walks on the beach. And she likes to party. Oh, yes. No back talk from her. Yeah. In the wind tunnel right now and heading out and I may shut the camera down shortly but uh, oh, that's interesting oh, it's a little bit heavy huh? yeah oh look at this the crystal yeah, core piece yep Okay, we best start rolling. How to get that out. So I think this is going to be day 28 or 29 for me for my plastic pickup challenge. And uh, we're at Cape Split Shore in Little Split Cove. And uh, we've come around from the corner over there and I picked up a whole lot of plastic. We've uh, along that. the way. And there's here at Cape Split, uh, Little Split Cove, it's a party place. So you get a lot of garbage from inconsiderate types. And uh, I'm still finding stuff here. I keep saying I'm done picking it up because I don't know how much this bag's going to take getting out. I've got two hours and six kilometers to hike out of here with this on my shoulder. But uh, I'll get this and I see one more of those hateful plastic white strappings there from whatever they are. Anyway, for right now we're going to cook up some pizza that we had left over and put it on the fire. Once we get a nice bed of coals and uh, 
then we'll have a little bite and we'll head out and we should be out of here by dark. I think we've got about two and a half, three hours of sunlight left. We've got the flashlights with us just in case. And uh, that's our show for the day. Keep picking up plastic, everybody. Five pieces a day can make a difference. Okay, so we made it back to the apartment and uh, this is the tale of getting welcomed back by the cat. So I ended up taking the big heavy piece. There was a smaller piece I had found over towards the wind tunnel and ended up leaving it there simply for the fact I didn't like that the layer of yellow on that one seemed to only be kind of like one layer on the edge of it. This one is already starting to dry off even though it's been sitting in my pack for quite a while. Uh, there was yellow in it somewhere and I'm sure we'll see it somehow or other eventually. But anyway, she was a heavy plug to have so in the we bag. Got this one with a bit of amethyst in it and a bit of white quartz crystal and some of the bubbles that I like. So that's Lots one of piece. These purpley pieces here that uh, Bernice and I both are starting to kind of collect. Got now. another one of those as well. This one with nice, gorgeous size gasified bubbles here. And there's some beautiful chunks of quartz crystal this here. One here is like the, so we, the prize of the day right here. Look at those gorgeous points. That's some other kind of a crystal or a mineral growing there. And then it's surrounded by this quartz layer. And then there's the bubble casing of it. And then little bits of everything else on the bottom. So that's just a beautiful Here's cool another nice purpley piece here that's got the bubble effect on it. So that's going to go with the rest of mine. This one I was proud of. It has like a nice little bit of crystal growth here inside and on the back. And some fortifications, oh, I think, wet. too. This one has some cherry flame going on in it. Not a lot, but a little bit, so that was kind of fun to see. This one, suspect golden flame in it when it's wet, but it doesn't look great right now. This one had some greenish tinge to it, and I like the fibrous looking texture of the, uh, the structure there as well, so that's nifty. And likewise for this one, you can see that it's almost like the bow ties of stillabite, but I don't think it is stillabite. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Be cool. This one had some nice white quartz going on with beautiful crystal structures. It's a bit that, banged up, but this one has nice shiny little silicai, silicate kind of things looking. Uh, possibly bow tie shaped. Like I say, I want to say suspect stillabite, but. Might be wrong in that. And then this one had some nifty stuff, but it might be just more or less a piece of chert. So we like it. It's all good. And it was a really great day. And even if I hadn't found any rocks to take home, it was a beautiful day and a great hike. The weather was very agreeable for middle of November and uh, not quite as nice as sometimes I've been out there this time of year, but definitely easy enough. I only wore a sweater for my time around uh, the point on Cape Split and uh, headed off once we were up to the trail walking out. Uh, so that's the review of the whole thing for now and uh, we'll sign off with that.